Let's put this cookie into our login form. Under the commented header construct, paste the snippet login set cookie. And you can see we've set the cookie called login authorized to the value login authorized to expire in three hours and to be usable from the root directory. We've also set the location simply to index.php. We no longer need the header location index.php with the auth query string. And of course, we no longer need this form that sends the posted variable auth to the index form. So we can get rid of those and save the login form. Notice how this update is documented with an update code. And it's certainly time you started to think about how you will identify, control and document changes to your code. In other words, your own change control system. Now in the index file, just below the login authorized variable we set before, insert the snippet project index get cookie. Well, we set now login authorized to the value of whether the cookie is equal to the word login authorized. So login authorized is set to whether the cookie is equal to login authorized. And save the index file. And now let's open the home page in the browser. And as we expect, we get our login form. This time when we log in, we'll get exactly the same result. It lists companies with our log out button. But when we go to one of the menu items and return to the home page, we come back to the list, the menu. That's because the cookie has been set to stay in the system for 7,200 seconds. So every time we go to the index page, the cookie still has the value login authorized for 7,200 seconds. However, when we click the log out button, nothing happens. And that's because the auth query string is no longer used. Of course, what we need to do is expire the cookie to log out. And since logging out doesn't need to be secure, we can just pass a query string from our included menu file to the index.php file. So in the menu form or the menu script, paste the snippet logout href, which no longer creates a form, which we can get rid of because this was the one that simply sent the value zero for the query string auth. This logout link is simply a link to index.php and sends status equals logout. We'll save that and now we need to capture it in index.php under where we previously specified login authorized. Paste the snippet project index get status or cookie. And now we need to trap this status query string in the index.php file with snippet project index get status or cookie. This adds an extra step to our authorization process. We're now saying get the status string status and if it's set to the value logout, set the cookie login authorized to nothing with a time of expiry in the past and then set the value of login authorized to false. If the status query string is not logout, then set login authorized to the value of whether the cookie is equal to login authorized text string, just like we did above. So we can get rid of that one and now check the status before we check the login authorized variable. The rest of the processing is as before. Let's save that. The logout link now actually does take us to the login form because it's expired the cookie login authorized. We log in. We get our list of companies. We can go back to the home page. We've still got our menu list. Logout correctly works now because it expires the cookie. Well, we now have a modestly secure login system, which will keep the user logged in for 7,200 seconds or until they specifically log out.